Not too long ago, I did White Rim Trail with Lee Sumner and a couple other guys. And while we were out there, it was super dry, very dusty. Obviously, it's in Canyon Lines National Park in Utah. Um, and it's just 130 miles of nothing but desert. But there are a couple of sections where the dirt is just so loose um, that it created a lot of dust on the trails. And I literally could not see the truck in front of me. The dust was so thick, um, even when they were on the brake lights. So it really made me think twice about getting some chase lights. Um, and I reached out to Tim and I asked him if he might have any kind of solution for that. Um, and he sent me some, uh, well, you know, I had to pay for them, but he sent me some, uh, their combo lights. So I hooked them up to function as reverse lights as well as chase lights. So the white uh, LEDs come on when I shift the truck into reverse and the, uh, the amber pattern comes on um, with the touch of a button that I installed up near the driver's compartment. I did wire it up nice and neat with uh, this is actually the fog light switch that came with the Iron Man front bumper and um, it's also wired with the headlights so that when they come on that little indicator will show up. I might try to change that bulb out so that it's green to match all the other ones but uh, this light will only come on if the lights are actually working, which is really cool. Most of the idea with these things was that I wanted something um, that would also function as a reverse light. Uh, so I did wire these up so that they come on automatically when I shift the truck into reverse. And that's mainly because running a 35 inch spare, you're blocking your reverse tail light so you can't really, like nobody back there could really see that I was reversing. Um, so that's a huge advantage of these little guys. But uh, as far as wiring is concerned, I, I wired these together in series. So they're just, you know, that's what this bad boy is going across. But the actual harness goes down and I'll open this back up in, a, in just a second, but basically this, this wire goes into, there's a rubber boot underneath the lift gate here. Up top, you can see where the wire comes in. I just zip tied it to this pre-existing harness and poked a hole in that boot for the uh, for the wires to go down in there. Then I routed it along here, back beneath the um, the spare uh, spare tire tools, and over up top to two relays. One which controls the reverse lights, another which controls the uh, the chase lights. So right here, there was a connection um, in the ground that had gone bad. So, whoops a daisy, but there they are. Uh, these are the chase lights. So they're hooked up to that switch up there at the driver's seat. And uh, yeah, not bad for $40 if I'm being honest. The hardware for this is just one little bolt um, and it fits perfectly onto the light bracket that comes with the uh, the Gamma Media rack there. So that's pretty good. Unfortunately this this shield on this light was leaking and it's already got a little bit of water behind it which is kind of disappointing. The other one is okay but hmm, I guess forty dollars is forty dollars. As you can see, the 35 is so big that it blocks one of the reverse lights. So it is extremely beneficial to have a little bit extra. Um, and uh, so yeah, that's pretty nice. 
turn on the chase lights. And these are extremely helpful in dust and um, and in um, shoot fog, like foggy and snow conditions. Okay, last bit that I'll mention before I go is that the the light sits underslung, just like the just like the rack receivers, how I've got those set up. So there's nothing blocking the top of the roof rack, um, which makes it really helpful or really simple uh, for securing cargo on top. Nothing's obstructing. Um, it's a super simple setup, just a two relay system. And uh, I give it the patch thumbs up. So well done, Tim. Those look pretty good. I cleaned up the wire harness there. Found the ground issue, we're good to go.